Next up, this was huge. Voyager Digital buys a European crypto exchange focused on institutional investors. And this is what a company needs to do, make big moves. And I am very happy Voyager is doing these types of things. So what's going on? Well, crypto asset broker Voyager Digital is buying LGO Markets, a French crypto exchange focused on corporate investors. The two firms will merge under one brand, Voyager, and the two separate tokens, VGX and LGO, will also merge. The deal grants Voyager, a Canadian securities exchange listed firm, I didn't know they were in Canada, that's interesting, uh, access to the European retail market through LGO's virtual asset service, provider license held with the French financial regulator. So they are uh, converging uh, North America and European. And what this says to me is that Voyager wants to reach out to a lot of new customers. And this is the best way they could do it. Uh, just like with PayPal when they bought BitGo, or have, excuse me, they haven't bought BitGo yet, but they're under heavy negotiations. I think it'll happen. They need the custodian services. We talked about this yesterday. And, and instead of them just creating it from scratch, they're like, you know what? A lot of money to be made. Uh, we need to start moving quickly, quickly because we were dragging our feet before. Let's just buy a company. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. And the same thing's happening uh, over here with, with Voyager. So uh, congratulations to them uh, as this goes through. This is, this is going to be massive, massive just to reach out to a whole new spectrum of customers. Anyhow, to complete the acquisition, Voyager will issue 1 million shares, whose value in part determine the ultimate deal price. So are they going to issue these shares? And whatever that price comes to, it's going to probably balloon up the actual price uh, of what is being uh, transacted. The other part will depend on the value of the merged in uh, house crypto token. Because remember, they're going to uh, combine LGO and VGX uh, to their governance token. Now this, according to reports, will feature decentralized finance functions. Let me say that again. DeFi functions such as community governance and staking at initial interest rate of 7%. So can you imagine to have a pretty stable coin like Voyager and then get 7% on top of that just to hold it? So I don't know. Well, here, let's just take a look real quick. So Voyager, uh, it's at 16 cents right now. It's up 8, which, is, which makes total sense, right? It's up 8.4%. So uh, you can buy, I don't know, maybe you want to buy 10 of them. Maybe you're feeling lucky. You're like, you know what? I got a buck 60. I'm going to put it. You know what I mean? Uh, let's say you put in 10,000. I don't know how much you got. And then just it goes up, I don't know, 2x, 5x, 10x. I have no idea because the bull run's coming. And then you're going to get 7% on top of that APY. So that's a pretty good deal. I must tell you. And it makes me take a real hard look at Voyager Token. To see. Back to the story. And this is where it gets a little wonky. It states that shares of Voyager fell 2.3% to 0.56 Canadian dollars or 43 cents in CSE trading Friday. The stock is down, it doesn't make sense. The stock is down more than 16% since the news of the acquisition broke out on October 21st. Voyager has a market value of 36 million. So I had to take a look at it. I'm like, why would the stock price go down during a merger and acquisition? That doesn't make any sense. So I had to take a look at it. And here is Voyager Digital. Uh, here's their uh, marker. And looking at October 19th, 19th. Here's the 20th. It was at 43 cents for some reason. Then it spiked up to 53, October 20th. And it was pretty flat. Uh, a little bit of a dip here to 48. But then as time has gone on, 57 now 60 and then the closing was at 62 cents so this makes more sense so maybe initially there was something else going on but right now it looks pretty pretty strong i mean i would only assume that hey if you're gonna you know merge with another big entity your price would probably go up so that's just one thing and then later on uh, in the next sentence it states voyager ceo hugo renaden was quoted as saying and i was like wait what the ceo I, Steve, and I had him on this week on Digital Asset News. So I don't know who Hugo in. I, I had to look him up. So Voyager CEO Hugo Renaden. I took a look, and now it makes more sense. They just kind of uh, flipped it around. We all make mistakes, right? Even me. Even even me. I make a ton of mistakes. Uh, Hugo Renaden is the co-founder and CEO at LGO Group. Okay, so got that. So I don't know who wrote this uh, article. Maybe Danish. <laughs> Danish. I'm just kidding, Danish. Uh but this is what uh, the LGO CEO states. He states, European clients will be able to access the Voyager app using the LGO regulatory setup. In Europe, and both LGO and VGX tokens will be merged into a new token. So that's uh, massive. I don't know 
if that's going to affect uh, VGX, if it's going to be like VGX new, like, like Ave is, or how it's all going to work. But uh, I'm going to be giving everybody updates as this comes about. So this should be good. He added that the new token will have more utility to the benefit of token holders in the US, Europe, and elsewhere. So when I took a look at this, the one thing I could think of was like, this is kind of like Binance. I mean, Binance does all these things, right? They start to do mergers and acquisitions. They start to, you know, give out their or put out the Binance coin, get into do a decentralized finance, do a lot of different things, even leverage trading, which I'm not a big fan of. So when I see Voyager making moves like this, I'm like, that's what a company's supposed to do. You either grow or you die. And I got to tell you, that makes me pretty bullish on Voyager. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last stories.